97% done. Okay. Monte Carlo simulation has finished. Okay, so let's see what do we got plotted here. So this is our our threshold voltage distribution. Uh, this window is from our previous guy. Now if we go to um, it's lagging a little bit. If we go to details, uh, these are actually all the different runs that it went through. And if you notice right here, this is actually the individual threshold voltages that were used for that trial. So if we actually go, and this is the plot all waveforms. Uh, oops, I think I did this wrong. Yeah, I did that. Well, I basically I plotted this guy over again. So if we right click and we go plot all, it's actually just going to plot this uh, out, uh, output for the individual um, trial. At least it's supposed to. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. Um, now to see multiple trials, you just, instead of replace, you say append, and then you can plot multiple trials. Uh, Well, let's do that. Okay. So to, to really see if the um, threshold voltage is varying with the CX, what you do is you say, well, you basically select this, the threshold output, and you say plot all. Oops, I shouldn't have said have pinned. I should have said replace because it'll pin to this. Oh. Good, it was smart enough to. Okay, that's oh, that's just that. Hold on. Let's go back to. I'm still learning. Go back to yield, and you go to this guy right here, and you go to histogram, and well, let's remove, delete that guy. So let's add, and add, and press OK. And now we get both our histograms. So we get our uh, how our, our TX is changing and how our uh, threshold voltage is changing. So uh, let's make this window a little bit bigger. So they're pretty similar, though I'd have to go through a normalization to make sure they're correct. That's kind of a long video. I need to cut this down. Okay, let me stop this. So anyways, this is basically how you do basic Monte Carlo simulations.